life of a woodland begins underground. The soil provides nutrients, anchorage and water for the plants. Worms pull down leaves and fungus and bacteria feed. Recycling takes place here. Slugs and snails graze on the plants. Centipedes hunt amongst the leaves and the moss. Moles burrow and polish their tunnels. Anything falling into the burrow can't escape and the moles patrol and pick up these trapped animals. Abandoned mole burrows may be taken over by wasps. Bank voles make burrows for protection, coming out to feed on nuts and seeds. Dead branches are invaded by fungi such as King Alfred's cakes. Their roots or hyphae penetrating the wood causing it to fall apart. Sulphur tuft does the same to a log. The logs become soft and are then invaded by beetle larvae feeding on the fungi. Squirrels use stumps as feeding platforms. Wrens nest in sheltered cavities. Mushrooms have a vast network of roots called mycelium that goes right across the woodland. We just see the fruiting body, just a small part. Fungi are the largest organisms in the woodland. Tree seedlings germinate and they will survive when a tree falls giving them space and light. Many woodlands have been managed as coppice, where the tree is cut to ground level and it regrows. This is a hazel bush and could have been coppiced many times. The roots could be hundreds of years old. The shoots were used for things like charcoal making, firewood and for tool handles. Log piles left from coppicing allow fungi to grow and provide nesting sites for birds like robins. Light reaches the forest floor and encourages butterflies and bees to feed on the nectar. The 
the high canopy is the climax. Tall, mature trees of oak and ash and sweet chestnut and lime dominate. These provide feeding sites for blue tits and nuthatches and song thrushes. Ditches and gullies gather water and enter streams and ponds. Ponds attract dragonflies and damselflies, pond skaters and frogs. Streams flow out of the pond and are breeding sites for stonefly and caddisfly. These freshwater animals are fed on by kingfisher and dipper and otter. In the evening light, the midges dance, and as it gets dark, the bat and the owls and the badgers come out to hunt and forage.